Hello, you're watching PC Jack. Today, I'm going to show you how to install the Noctua NHD15 G2 on an LGA1700 socket. To install the NHD15 G2, you'll need the following components. Four of these blue spacers, four of these long screws, four of these plastic clips, two of these mounting brackets, this Intel backplate, four of these nuts, the included Torx screwdriver, a Y splitter, and finally, some thermal paste. To begin, the four screws need to be positioned on the outer corners of the backplate, and then you use the plastic clips to lock the screws into place. Once the backplate is positioned behind the murmur board, all four of the blue spacers are placed over the protruding screws, and then you can place the mounted brackets in either a vertical or horizontal orientation, and then use the nuts to lock the brackets into place. Ideally, you would do this before your motherboard is installed, but if, like me, you're installing this in an already built system, having someone to hold the backplate in place while you secure it could be useful. After applying thermal paste to your CPU, the heatsink is then lowered onto your IHS while lining up with the mounting brackets. The heatsink is then screwed into place, alternating sides three to four screw turns at a time to ensure even mounting pressure until the screws no longer turn. Pass one of the fans through the heatsink as well as attaching the other fan to the front using the fan clips. Plug the fans into the Y-Splitter and then plug into your motherboard's CPU fan header. And that's how to install the NHD15 G2. If you're looking for more info on this cooler, then make sure to check out my review coming very soon on the channel. If you found this video useful, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.